Often a fuel pressure test is used to determine that the fuel system is operating within the specification. There are many things a fuel pressure test can tell you. It'll tell you if the fuel pump and pressure regulator are operating operating correctly and if there is a leak in the fuel system. We're going to be using a snap-on fuel pressure gauge, a container to hold the gasoline in, and we're always going to wear a good set of safety glasses. We're going to be doing our fuel pressure test on the 2002 Jeep Liberty Sport with a 3.7 liter V6. Our first thing we need to do is put our adapter onto our fuel rail on the Schrader valve. Next we need to connect the end of the fuel pressure gauge to the Schrader valve. Always make sure that the relief hose is in the container. We're going to be doing a key on engine off test first. So we're going to need somebody to turn the key on in the vehicle and the fuel pump should kick on. You may have to fight, cycle the key a few times to get the fuel pressure up to normal pressure. Do it again. There we go. That's about normal for this vehicle, about 50 PSI. You might have to check the spec on yours. That's it. Now we're going to do the key on engine running test. And this will tell you what the fuel pressure is when the engine is running to make sure that the fuel pump is operating properly when the vehicle is running and that it's supplying enough fuel to the fuel rails and making sure the injectors get them so the cylinders get the fuel and the vehicle runs properly. Hit it. Alright, we have 50 PSI which is the attitude of the vehicle. It's not jumping around a lot which would indicate there's not really a leak. Okay, you're good job, cut it off. The next thing we need to do is leave the gauge sitting for about five to ten minutes and make sure that the rail does not leak down and there's no leaks in the system so that the next time we go to start the vehicle it should start up for us without having to cycle the fuel pump on again. All right, we have let it sit for about five minutes and the pressure has only dropped two to three psi. This is adequate for this vehicle and the vehicle will start fairly easily next time we go to start it. Next, we're doing the fuel volume test, which will tell us if the filter is clogged and if the fuel pump is flowing enough fuel. Fuel pressure alone does not always give us enough information to correctly diagnose a fuel system. Fuel volume testing will tell you whether or not adequate fuel is supplied under high load situations. Fuel volume. Start it. Our next test is going to be a fuel volume test. We're going to be testing how much fuel comes out of the pressure of the gauge in 15 seconds. Okay. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Stop. All right, now we're going to shut the vehicle off. And we have about 20 ounces of fuel. The spec for this vehicle is... The spec for the vehicle is... 0.5 pints. 0.5 pints. 8 ounces in 7 seconds. After we're done with our fuel volume test, we're going to want to relieve the pressure in the system and in the gauge. And then we're going to want to remove our line and drain it all out so the next time we use our gauge to so the one we are storing our gauge you it doesn't get full of all the Boop! Jared, line one. Jared, line one. Alright, it's all drained. The fuel pump was able to supply adequate fuel pressure at idle and flow sufficient fuel volume. This tells us that the fuel system is working correctly and this also ends our tutorial on how to do a fuel system test and fuel volume test.